Hello, everyone. Oh my god, I love this movie. <laughs> Let's just put that out of the way right now. This movie is amazing. Yes, this, is a, this, this movie is so good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this is... Compared to the first duel? Uh, well, should we... <laughs> we kind of skipped over our intro. This is Battles of Galaxy 10, and this is our rambling review of Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh... Correlating with the first one, Joel? Compare Uh... Let me say, the first one was, like... A B plus. This one could be in like my top twenty movies of all time. Yes, <laughs> this is a fantastic movie. <laughs> yeah, I love this one. Like, this is one where it's like way up there. Yeah, like, oh my gosh, this is so good. This is leagues above the other movie. And yeah. I didn't have much. I didn't have that much bad to say about the first movie, but this one's just leagues better. Alright then, shall we start with characters then? Yep. Uh, John Connor? <laughs> John is really awesome. He's one of the best kid actors yeah. I've seen in a movie. He's hands he's, down. Yeah. He's. Like, if that was an adult actor, I would say, like, B plus job. But he's. As a kid actor, I'm like, oh my goodness, this kid is SS tier. Like, oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, when people think John Connor, this kid is the thing that comes to mind. Yeah. 100%. He's, he's, a, he's a really good actor, and I'd honestly be interested to see how good he is as an adult. <laughs> because, my goodness, if he's this good as, like, a young teenager... I can't remember I can't, the actor's name, sadly. I'm gonna have to look that up after this and see where he went. Yeah. But, oh my goodness, this acting is fantastic. I really enjoyed him as a character. He's, like... He just... <laughs> yeah, like, he's... He does, like, a lot... Like, he's, he does, like, a lot of cool stuff in the story. He has really cool... He has really good interactions with both uh, with both his mom and with T-800. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Uh, he's he's fantastic. He's a, he's a fantastic job. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's great. Yeah, he's a great kid actor. Like, like yeah. good God, I wish I... And again, early 90s. Yeah. Like, you can tell with some of the lines, but it's like, wow, this... He can... You can tell this was a very worthy kid actor for this role. Yeah. Alright, uh, returning Sarah Connor? She is... I think this is a believable evolution after the first one. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it was really cool to see at the beginning of the movie how, like honey she is, but at the same time, she occasionally will just, like, lose her composure a little bit. I'm like, that's, that's, yep. that's, it's so well done how they do that, that she, like, she's not, she's not, like, per she's not perfect, but she's very, very good. Yeah. <laughs> and it's also, just, like, Like, when she, like, probably one of the coolest moments for me was when she, I don't remember his name, when she tries to kill... Dyson. Yeah, when she tries to kill him and just can't, can't. do it. Yeah. Like, that, oh man, oh man, that was so good. Yeah, that, that literally gave me chills the first time I saw it. I was like, oh Jesus. Ugh. <laughs> Especially right in front of his family as well, where yeah. it's like, holy like, honestly, crap! Like, honestly, I, I, in, in, in my, in my head, I, I totally believe that if, if his family wasn't there, she would have killed him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just that his family was right there, 
<laughs> they gave her the little push in her brain being like, this isn't right, no matter what he does in yeah. the future. Also, the, f the freaking nuke dream. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, I'm having fun dreams. <laughs> yeah, that was like the one bit of, that was like the one bit where I was like, I can see, like, is the one bit where I'm like, this looks a little dated, but not as dated as it should be. Yeah. And it was still extremely impressive. Like, it looks also like very it powerful as well to show that yeah. that she is horrified yeah. with this knowledge. <laughs> yeah. Like, think about it. She's been stuck in a psych ward for years. No one's believed her. Yeah, and she's like, she's probably for years been like, oh my good, like she's been like, oh my goodness. This is actually gonna happen, and there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the symbolism in that dream is great. Yeah. So which Terminator do you want to talk about first? Uh, let's talk about Bad Terminator. T-1000? T-1000. Holy shit! This <laughs> one's horrifying. Yeah, like this... Like, this might be one of the top villains in movie history. <laughs> yeah. Where it's like, as far, good at God. Least as far, uh, at least as far as, like, like, I'm kind of a sucker for, like, relatable villains. Yeah. But as far as non-relatable, just absolute monster villains go, he's definitely yeah. way up there. And the problem with this one is that he does show emotion and such, like... Like, he yeah. does so slight emotion and such. Like, he can fool you. And he knows how to get you mentally as well. Yeah. I do kind of like that they gave him sort of a weakness of... He has a sadistic streak and it kind of bit him. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like that. Yeah, where he just likes inflicting pain on others. But I also do like that. They, okay, two two more things I want to say. I like that they trick. I, I like that they trick you into thinking that he got beaten, but then they're like, "Nope, he's melting down again, and he's gonna come mm -hmm. back." And I also, I also want to say right now that the the the, the twist the twist got me. The get down got me, even though I knew the that there was a movie. Where Arnold Terminator is yeah. a good guy, it still got That me. twist is probably one of the best ones for anyone who's seen the first one, where it's like, where it's like, okay, Terminator's gonna be the evil one, person sent back, and it's like, wait a minute. <laughs> that was like, oh, thank goodness, we got a human. Imagine human being one of. Imagine being, oh, imagine oh. being one of the people who see all this for the first time in a theater, seeing that, and it's like, holy crap! Yeah. Well, there are some, there are some twists, and there are some twists where I'm just like, man, I wish I saw, I wish I was one of the first people to see this. Yeah. The, I, I'm honestly, I, I, I kind of just want to say this without any context. I am kind of jealous of my younger brother for that reason with Avengers Endgame. Because he saw it on opening night with two of the biggest MCU fans we know. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of jealous that he got that experience. Also, I don't think we can speak about the T-1000 without explaining the masterful CGI. Yeah. This is early really, 90s. It's Really, real. That's incredible. This has oh aged oh so well. Yeah. And again, all the practical effects where it's like, holy crap, that was real. <laughs> yeah. The the effects of this movie, but like the fact that there was one scene in the whole movie where I was like, 
Like, I could kind of see through this a little bit. The entire rest of it was like, okay, this looks real. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like, holy crap. Yeah, T-1000 might be one of the greatest villains of all time. Yeah. Meanwhile, one of the greatest heroes of all time. Holy crap, T-800 in this role. I am a role. T-800 fan. I am a Terminate. I am, I am a fan of this character. This is my favorite <laughs> Arnold role at all. Like, wow. of all time. Like, holy crap. This is amazing. And as a as an android nut, this guy is one of my favorite androids in fiction now. I I I I'd have, I have to check my list to be sure, but right now I'm pretty sure he'd be number four. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty damn up there, no matter what. Like and number three is still lightly debatable whether they count as an android or not. So. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> T-100 is great. Right. He's, he's, he's absolutely hilarious at times. <laughs> yes, and I also do want to mention, he is in like, the chemistry he has with uh, uh, the kid. John. John. The chemistry he has with John is one of the highlights of him yeah. in this movie. He's fantastic. Which every single Terminator Whoa, after this Daddy. tries to replicate and fails miserably. <laughs> Robo Daddy! <laughs> yeah, T 800's amazing, and. Good God, that sacrifice at the end made me cry? <laughs> yeah. If I was watching this by myself, it'd probably make me cry. Or I it's... tend not to as much when I'm watching, like, watching these with other people, but. Yeah, but it's like, holy crap! Like, that ending is like, wow. Yeah. There's a reason that part is referenced a lot. <laughs> where it's like, the emotion felt in that scene is, my god. Yeah. <laughs> you Holy know, crap. Daddy will miss you. <laughs> yeah, T-800. Wow. Yeah. This is what, this is the Terminator every other Terminator movie tries to replicate. Yeah. <laughs> For a there reason. Is, there is, like, overall with this movie, it's like, everything, everything, like, I think compared to the first movie, like, the first movie did, like, did what it set out to do and it executed it really well, but there wasn't, like, a thing where it was like, okay, this is a thing that I'm like, this is something that I'm like, this is, this is the, this is hitting the things that I enjoy personally. Mm -hmm. There wasn't really that much in the first movie for me where yeah. I was like, this is what I really enjoy personally. Terminator 2, T-800 hit all, like, he hit all of my, he just hit all of my, Dorky android, dorky but also kind of badass. <laughs> yep. <laughs> android things that I love about other android characters. Yeah. Ah. T eight hundred is one of the best characters of all time. And I like kind of knew that I guess this hype hasta la vista was a reference to this, but it's way more satisfying now that I've actually seen the movie. <laughs> Yeah, there were so many quotable lines from Arnold in this yeah. one, where it's like, if you're hearing someone quote Arnold, it's this one. Yeah. Oh man, like this it, like the other one was, the other, the first movie was the kind of movie where I'm like, oh, I'll watch the Terminator, sure I'll watch Terminator. This is the kind of movie where, I, where I'd be like, hey, I really like Terminator, you want to watch it with me? Yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah, there's a reason why I wanted to watch Terminator 2. Like, I would, this is probably going to be a movie that I go back and see every couple of years. Yes, this is by far my favorite of the Terminator films. Like, of the two, this is the one I watch the most, where it's like, I love this movie. <laughs> yeah. 
The soundtrack as well is great. Yeah. Where, where it's like, what the hell are some of these instruments they're using and such? Where it's like, holy crap! <laughs> Got them horror strings and... Whatever the hell the T-1000's death cry was. <laughs> like, good God! <laughs> That noise yeah. is stuck in my head for a while. <laughs> Anyone else? Well, uh, the, the made Skynet guy. Guy Dyson? Yeah, he is really cool. I, I like him quite a bit. Yeah. And yeah, it was like... I do appreciate that they, like, like they, they did a good job of, like, making you, like, feel for the guy before, before, uh, Sarah lets try to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> or it's like, he's yeah. just a normal guy, he's just not noticing what he, what his creation could do. Yeah. Which happens a lot in human history, if you look back. Yeah. Or it's like... And one of my favorite lines from him is, is, you're judging me for something I haven't even done yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. So a message on the future is not absolute, it can change. By a humble awakening happiness noise. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I do like that. I do like that message, and I I agree with it that, that like even if you know what's going to happen, it can still be changed. Yeah. Like if you're like, and I would I would go. Or as far as say is like you 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 are responsible for your own choices and what happened because of it. Yeah. <laughs> you can't blame it on your circumstances. Yeah. I love this movie. <laughs> yeah. Easily top ten, top twenty for me. Like very up there. Would definitely recommend. This movie has not been dated at all. Where it's yeah. like, wow. This movie holds up incredibly well. Yeah. If you've watched it before, go see it. Anyway, you'll find something you've missed. Especially with, like, developer commentary and such, where it's like, Yeah, you know this part? The truck and such? Real? Pilot was probably crapping his pants driving the helicopter under the bridge. <laughs> and the second time we're like, yeah, no, I'm flying over the bridge this time. <laughs> <laughs> I pushed my luck. I'm not gonna cheat that twice. <laughs> yeah, triple A actors, triple A effect, like triple A effects. Yeah, this go this goes along with uh, like two towers and Return of the King for some of the best CGI yeah. ever. <laughs> yeah, T one thousand's right up there with. <laughs> I can't tell you any of this. Yeah, yeah, right up there with Gollum and such. And the thing, great and special the thing, effects. And the thing Gollum was like, what was like this movie? Really Ninety one. I like. I wanted to say. 91, so th that was 10 years later. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, this movie's great. <laughs> <laughs> Go watch it. It's fantastic. Don't let your kids watch it, though, because it's rated R. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not a family movie, but if you can handle it, definitely go see it. Yeah. Like, oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> There's a reason it's remembered so much. Yep. 
reason why it's one of the best sequels of all time. And as the uh, as the Terminator fan I am, I'm gonna count this as the ending of the series. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the series is tracking from time. That's what we hope for sometimes, at least, because oof. <laughs> My head cannon anyway. <laughs> yep. Where it's like, we can stop it right here. <laughs> Terminator ends here. Yep. Great duology of films, perfect ending. Left up to left up to humanity itself. <laughs> so yeah, I think that was our gambling review. I love this movie. Of Terminator 2. Judgment, Judgment Day. Day. <laughs> and I just want to say to you all before we go, hasta la vista, baby. Take care. <laughs>